Capricorn, what is going on, baby? It's, it's me, Ra. it is Shira. it is Vivra, it is Scorpio, Red right? Tarot, I'm back at it again one time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for February 2021, baby, we here to have fun, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies who have clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos, baby, shout out to you, much love, I want to take a quick second and just say everyone please bow your head in prayers and just keep um the state of texas in prayer you guys i'm pretty sure you guys have heard about you know the snowstorm and the freezing and the ice and the water mains busting in people's houses and no electricity it's just been an absolute devastating mess so i just if you can even if you don't know no one in texas please just you know lift your hands up in prayer and just ask the lord to cover them so yeah i just wanted to give that little you know psa out there today so um Capricorn, again, thank you so much for like, sharing, and subscribing. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me. And again, thank you to everyone that has been booking the readings. Um, everyone has been sending love donations uh, to, through the Cash App, PayPal, and the Amazon wish list. I appreciate it. Um, so if anyone wants to book or if you want to send any love, check out the description of this video or check out the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you my booking price. And the best way to connect with me is on Instagram Messenger. So you'll see my Instagram link uh, in the description or in the about tab. And if you don't have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And, you know, I hope you get all situated so we can um, get your reading done. And if you don't feel comfortable with leaving your comments in the description, box down in the video um you can just email me so yeah anyway and that's not the description box that's the comment box and i am not stopping and re-recording this video so we're just gonna keep it going so you guys you know how we always do go ahead and bow your head with me we want to give shouts out to father god the creator the universe whatever it is you want to call him we want to just give him praise him just give him thanks right now so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of capricorn we thank you for everything that you've been giving us we thank you so much for delivering us father god we thank you so much for giving us the clarity and just staying and walking and being able-bodied in the state of mind and faith father god we thank you so much for just like all of the blessings that you have placed before us because even in the situations how they've been and no matter how they may look you always keep us covered father god you always keep us covered we are never in doubt and we are never without father god so we thank you so much please give us the guidance that we need to receive for capricorn for 2021 february father god and just you know just give us the energy to just keep going and keep you know pressing on in the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. All right, we're going to shout out in the glory, amen. All right, so let's see what we got for Capricorns for my Cappies. All right. My Cappy. Give me guys. Capricorn. February. 2021. Thank you so much. Mm. Confidence. Okay. I like those roses right there, Capricorn. I like that. Come on. Give me my flowers while I'm here. All right. Give me my flowers while I'm here. Confidence. Is that what you need the confidence to tell somebody? Give me my flowers while I'm here. Because don't people always wait until you walk out the door to show how much they appreciate you? Huh. Child, you better give me my flowers while I'm right here in your face in divine glory. Look, it says confidence. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. Please fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. Again, divine confidence is completely different from bravado of the ego do y'all understand that means so that's just like if you gotta jump out there and stand up for yourself 
because you feel like someone is testing your position, you're doing that. That confidence came out of your ego being tested. You see what I'm saying? That's a lot different from you knowing that you deserve a position and that, you know, you have the backing on every word that you're standing on and you have your, you know, you were positioned upright on point in time because you have confidence. You know you deserve the position. Do you understand? I'm not just showing up and showing out because I feel like my footsteps have been tested on. You know what I'm saying? That's like someone trying to walk in your footsteps and take your position or something. And now all of a sudden you got, like, hold on, uh -uh, uh uh no, that's ego. You should already have that confidence. Because when you already have that confidence and you stay in that confidence, people are not going to be so eager, so willing, unless they <coughs> themselves got that confidence where they know that they could try you like that. Because, you know, am I making any sense? I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. Because when you're confident and you know that you're confident and you stay confident, People don't just easily walk up on you and try to walk and trace up in your footsteps where you feel like people are trying to test your ego. Hmm. I'm just going to leave that where it's at. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. Make space for something larger to take hold. I feel like that's a very important thing for y'all to hear as well. Make space for something larger to take hold, Capricorn. Please fill me with your confidence, oh love. Grant me the courage I never knew that I had. And that's confidence as well. It's just believing in yourself, knowing that I could do something. This is the ooh. Having a confidence in yourself knowing that I could do something and I'm gonna be okay. Hmm. Give me guidance. What's going on with this confidence card? Because I'm getting a whole lot here with cap. Oh Lord Jesus. Why y'all gotta give me all of this tea? This is a lot. No, this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm not trying to do all of this. You got the chariot in the reverse. You got the four of emotions. Okay. And then you got the seven of emotions. Let's stop it right there. And then we'll do these other two over here. Okay. So you got the chariot in the reverse. And then you got the four of cups. And then you got the seven of cups in the reverse. So the chariot of emotions. I mean the, ch the chariot of emotions. You're absolutely right. The chariot of the emotions. So you've stopped going forward with a situation you are not feeling emotionally unsure i mean you're not feeling emotionally sure you are you're to the point where you're not even sure if you want it anymore you're tired of offering something for no reason like why am i offering you this and you act like you don't want it you act like you don't want me or you know what i'm saying it's like ever you're giving into something and it's rejecting you and you're having to go inside and to like really figure out like, is this what I want for me? Why do I keep offering myself to this situation? And I keep, I was like, I don't know. It's like with this chariot in reverse here, it's like, you're not sure if you're in or if you're out. It's like with the, 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 the four of cups, it's like, they're not giving me. A short answer if they want me or if they don't. How do I know where to go if no one is giving me an answer? I don't understand what it is that you're saying to me. And I don't understand what it is that I'm saying to myself. Because with that seven of cups in the reverse, it's like, now I done picked this thing to give my energy to out of everything else that I could have had. Why am I not getting what I want out of it? And why do I keep offering myself to it? Is this what I really want? 
Do I really want to, on a continuous basis, feel this way? Because it's put me in a place where I've absolutely stopped. It's like I stopped what I was doing. I stopped what it's like. I it's like something. There's a distraction in your life because the chariot. It's like you should be going forward. You should be moving forward. You should be progressing, but you're stopping because you. It's like something about you. You're giving your attention to something that isn't giving its attention to you, or someone or something keeps presenting itself to you and you're not even sure if you even really want it and you're at a standstill do you understand what i'm saying capricorn it's like if it's not you that's offering and trying to give it's something that keeps getting in your way where you're trying to move forward and this person keeps trying to give something to you and you're not even sure if you want it like why am i keep allowing whatever this thing is to get in the way of my progression why am i allowing this thing to stand in my way to stagnate me let me sit down and figure out what it is that i really want so i could stop causing this confusion not only for myself but for other people because they stopping where the fuck i'm going keep coming to me with this bullshit wanting me to make a decision this is someone having to make a decision about something It's a distraction and it's in the way. It's either you need to come to the realization. If I keep offering myself to this, I'm going to keep getting this result. Either I got to be okay with that and keep, and keep it moving. Because this one is like keep it moving. Figure out what you're going to do. Go inside and figure out what the fuck it is that you really want to do. Make a decision and stand on it. So we can keep it moving. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like this confidence card. It's like where it's two questions. Where is your confidence coming from? Is it coming from someone's testing your ego and your pride? Because sometimes if your ego and your pride is mixed up, your ego and your pride won't allow you to let something go that ain't good for you. Did that confidence come from your ego and your pride being tested? You fighting to hold on to something just because like you 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 tried me. But do you really want it? Do you really want it? Do you understand what I'm saying? And again, you need to remember to make space for something larger. To take hold. It says please fill me with the confidence. Of love. Grant me the courage I never knew that I had. So is the confidence and the courage. Is in you letting some shit go. You got to decide. Which side of this story you're on. Because it's something that you're tired. You're fucking tired. Same shit over and over and over and over. What, what is it? Is this the ultimate choice for me? Am I, am I going to? Is this going to pick back up for me? Because for like I said, it ain't going nowhere. Is this going to eventually pick back up for me? Is this what I really want? Because right now I'm bored. It's not giving me what I want. I don't know why I keep offering myself to it. And why it keeps offering itself to me. I need to do some soul searching. Because right now ain't shit going no fucking where. I need to have the confidence to stand up for myself. And release it. And keep it moving. <laughs> or I need to have the confidence to stand up in my position. Which I have the right to hold. And to tell whoever else to keep it moving. Hmm. You got the sun. And then you got the seven of swords in the reverse. This ain't good, bruh. This is like some like low vibrational dark energy here. 
Cause you see this 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 energy done bought the savage out of you. I bought the savage out of you. I bought the savage out of you. It's like this is you being in a like minded place. So it's something, it's something. You're around something, an individual place, a situation that you are not happy. You're not happy. I want to say like almost, um, I don't want to say like an inability to speak, but um, I want to say like you were able to speak up on certain things because you didn't have any proof. You didn't have any evidence. Like with this seven of swords right here, this is like someone getting caught. Like you have it like your alarm system was triggered. You understand? So somebody tipped you off, gave you some information. It's like, or you, I want, they're like saying it's some type of footage or something. You know like how people got them ring systems and stuff like that? It's like some type of footage or something of somebody doing something. So if y'all if y'all looking for some type of information, because this is like something that's not seen with the sun here. It's like something that's hidden. It's like not being illuminated, you know. But the Seven of Swords is about some information. It's like something that you ain't seeing that's coming out. And again, it's going to have extreme footage. It's going to have extreme footage. It's like a lot of footage about what's going on. It's, it's being hidden right now, but there's extreme footage. And again, it's like some type of sadness that's going on because I want to say it's like not enough sunshine it's not enough happiness it's not enough laughter anymore it's just darkness it's a lot of up it's like one upping each other in regards to manipulating trickery and using word it's like someone is a word expert they know how to manipulate people with mental and emotional abuse you know what i'm saying it's like someone could know exactly what they want to say to you but the person will come and with their wordplay and they'll make you feel like it's your fault so you your your thoughts gets all tied and twisted and you don't even make your point am i making any sense have you ever had a conversation with someone like that it's like you know exactly what you want to say but this person is a wordsman smith they know exactly what to say to throw you the fuck off to make you feel like it's something that you done wrong so you couldn't even make your point even if you wanted to because they know how to manipulate you but something that is not being seen is going to be exposed and when i tell you that it is going to girl oh y'all know what y'all know what song just popped in my head y'all remember that song in the beginning where's the white girl singing in the bar and she said dun, 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 anything goes y'all remember that song indiana jones is it the um, Raiders of the Last Ark or two, something? Anything goes. And they had the little Chinese boy. <laughs> oh, oh, they said Kalima, Kalima, Shakti Day, bitch, that one. <laughs> oh, y'all done called on Kalima. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, y'all done called on Kalima, honey. Look, look. Kalima, Kalima, Shakti Day, bitch, no, ma'am. And then why did I go back to this damn deck, child? I was not meaning to go back to this deck, but look, let me just go ahead. What is this, the six of voices in the reverse? So it's just like someone's telling me like they're going back home. Something, something is being illuminated. It's, it's like you didn't understand before, but now you understand. Now, things are coming out to the light for you to see it for yourself. And it's like you may be taking everything out. Like if you if you recently moved. 
Like say if you recently moved in with somebody or something, it's it's you guys are going back to where you came from. That's all I know. Or you're sending someone back to where they came from. I'm like back to where you came from. It's like Ooh. You see? It's like I'm it's like plucking someone back to where you go to fuck back where you came from. Like that's kind of what I'm getting, bruh. Mmm. I feel like someone is getting the courage and the confidence to walk away and believe in their self. And not having to do it from bravado and from ego because of the information that is coming out. Because you're feeling bored. Because you're tired of being rejected. Because shit ain't going nowhere. You know? It's because it's like you're having a conference to say, listen, I'm not happy. Like, I done seen the footage of you doing whatever the fuck it is. Like, I'm going back. I'm good. It's like you're doing it because you did that. You did that soul searching to find out what you really want and what's best for you. It don't have nothing to do with you feeling like, oh, something you you talking to this person. I didn't see the evidence. And like, no, that's that that has nothing to do with you having the confidence to say what you need to say and do what you need to do. You're doing it because you want to be emotionally sound and you want to be happy. Listen, you want an official person. You want something that's official. official someone that's going to be there someone that's going to represent the position that they hold and someone that's going to stand on it give me my roses while I'm here you understand I want the official title I want the you know I, I'm, not, I'm not doing this playing games with stuff like that I'm too grown and I, I have too much to offer to settle for less or to be sitting up here playing no games with nobody I'm not, I'm not going to do it what is this here Look, you got the expectation in the reverse. There's a loss of expectation. This person is, listen. I'm not about to sit here and um, expect something from somebody that um, their life expectancy rate in my, in my heart and my mind, it ain't last too long. It's like I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything from anybody anymore. I, it's, it's something about this situation that did give you some type of confidence. It's like you're not naive no more. It's like you're not a child because to me the sun represents like a child. Someone that's a juvenile. Someone just really trying to go out and play and, 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 and bask in the sunshine and be with their friends and enjoy life like they're not really worried about the serious shit you know what i'm saying like in the reverse the sun is like when things get serious it's not play time anymore it's like time for people to grow up and walk into adulthood it's not you know all play times and daffodils and, and hopscotch all the fucking time you ain't gonna have no one to kiss your ass and clean up under you and make your lunch every day like you gotta go get it for yourself so this is like some type of snap back into reality you know you can't expect nothing from nobody like the official person you don't have to sit around and expecting them to show up and expecting them to do what the fuck they supposed to do they just do it i don't have to expect anything from this person they show up period Ain't got message of concern. Remember when I said something in the beginning about um, give me my roses while I'm here because people always want to appreciate your presence when you're not there anymore. It's like they always want to pay your respects when the shit's dead and gone. When I was here, you ain't give me no roses. When I was here, what you had me doing? What you had me doing? Hmm. Message of concern, huh? Let's go on into love because it definitely seems like this whole reading is about love. Like, even in the general energy, I was still getting love. I was most definitely getting love. That has nothing to do with any, any type of uh, business at all. You got 
got George Clooney. Child, y'all is dealing with an old bachelor. Y'all are dealing with an old bachelor. Someone older, someone that's set in their ways, and they gonna do what the fuck they wanna do. Like, their reputation speaks for itself. So, it's not, I don't feel like it's that the person is bored with you. It's that this person has had so many people just like you. And there's so many people just like you that are willing, eager to be in your position. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like you're replaceable. There's someone, there's some level of someone being replaceable. And it's like, you're not about to lie to yourself about the situation because you felt like this person was bored with you. Listen, you see the two girls there, the two faces right there, they're just changing faces. So it's like when I get bored with one person, I go talk to another. Like this is someone, again, the seven of cups that has many options, but at the same time needs to go within their self to figure out what they really want. Because this might be someone that's confused. They really don't know. They have so many options. They don't know what the fuck they want. You know? And this is this is the Seven of Cups also is someone that it warns the person against. Like, listen. Don't continuously select the best looking thing. It looks the best. It smells the best. But does it taste the best? Is it healthy for you? Did you look at the ingredients? Are you alert? Did you see if it has any things? Or do you have any allergies that are reflective in this cup that you're about? You know what I'm saying? Is this, are you allergic to anything that's in the cup? Like a lot of people be dating people that they're dead ass allergic to. Child, I was about to say something bad. No, I'm going to say outbreaks. And what I mean in outbreaks is not like in outbreaks, like you no know, herpes or no wild ass shit like that. But I mean like clinical depression outbreaks. You understand what I'm saying? Like you could be happy and then just because this person doesn't answer the phone, because this person isn't paying you attention, you feel like it's this person makes you feel like it's something wrong with you or you're doing this or the Capricorn is doing this to you. You understand what I'm saying? Because this person got so much shit going on. So much. So it's, it's something about someone. Stop allowing this person. And the shit ain't going nowhere. The chariot in the reverse is someone that legitimately can have like emotional outbreaks of depression and stuff like that. Someone that isn't sure of themselves, that isn't confident. Like this is the complete opposite of the word confidence. This is someone who's lost their confidence. You know what I'm saying? Who Who's lost their self. Who's lost their self along the way. You know? Because remember I was saying if someone that was going somewhere. They, they, they had something going for themselves. But then they got caught up in this situation. And it just like. You know? This George Clooney says. If you commit the perfect heist. Make sure you don't brag about it. So Listen. If you listen to what this is, if you commit the perfect heist, don't brag about it. Do you think if someone did something that was illegal and that was running, they're going to run around bragging, telling motherfuckers that they did it? Or they're going to act like they don't know what the fuck you're talking about? No, what, what, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> I'm so. It says intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Once you share your personal life, it's not personal. So this is someone keeping secret. Again, let me read this to you. If you commit the perfect heist, make sure you don't brag about it. Intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Once you share your personal life, it's not personal. It's just someone that is extremely secretive. And they're not going to tell you what they're doing. Because it's their personal business. You got stabbed in the back. You got the coffee cup. You got date in the reverse. And then you got the phoenix. So, 
this coffee cup to me it means like someone um like meeting someone in a public space or something like that so i want to say like this person could feel like they're not stabbing you in the back because whatever they're doing they're doing it in the front it's like they're doing it publicly and then you see the date card in the reverse so it's like this person could be it's like i don't feel like this this person whoever this is they don't feel like they're stabbing you in the back to me it's just like meeting someone like meeting someone out for coffee for lunch um they just it's like these are they're not dating people they just they they just think you're a friend you're just a friend it's like there's no need to stab you in the breath. I'm going I'm to stab you in the front. Like, I'm directly coming to, let, like, we're just friends. Or they could be saying someone is just friends. This is someone I go meet for coffee. It's just someone I just have lunch with or whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's like it's not meant to hurt you, but it does. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem like it's a personal attack, but it is a personal attack because, it again, Remember, it, d divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of ego. Again, it's official person. Loss of expectations. Like, you, you could have lost your expectation in this person showing up in your life as the official person. As official person. Messages of concerns. Like, you could be getting and receiving some information that is very concerning about you and this person being the official person in your life. You're losing your expectations every fucking day. That this, that it's, I'm trying to tell you, the phoenix is you transforming. A transformation that is needed to be had. This person is not stabbing you in the back. They're stabbing you in the fucking front. This person is not dating you because they're out having coffee, crumpets and tea, doing whatever the fuck they want to do with wh wh whoever the fuck they want to be with. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. This could be something that you don't even see coming. But I want to say it's, it's like you do. It's like the coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Like I'm trying to tell you like this is something that they could not even be hiding. And they don't categorize it as dating, but you do. you do and again I feel like this is someone that is not showing someone intention because they have options and they're an ignoring someone it's like I like someone could be ignoring your calls not coming to see you making you feel emotionally unsure of yourself where you stand with this person does this person want me like you could be going above and beyond to give to this person and they could be acting like they're not even sure oh no i don't even really want it like that like well you normally always you know what i'm saying it's it's it's, it's some type of weirdness you're not happy things are slowly coming to your understanding it's like i just need to take my shit and go to fuck on i need to take my shit and go to fuck on this is this is i don't know if the dating is over if y'all are done the dating period if you decided not to date this person anymore but i definitely feel like this person is not dating you and is definitely meeting spending more time with other friends and things like that and it's like you're trying to not let this shit hurt anymore. This person ain't stab you in the back. They stabbed you in the front. Shit ain't going nowhere. They not going to change. You need to change. And I want to say this person stopped dating you to date somebody else. And it's not. They didn't let you go. They're just not giving you the attention anymore. And you're needing the confidence to step away because you're not happy and you've lost all expectations that things are going to get better you're having to change last spread and we're about to hit capricorn stabbed in the front not in the back all right so let's see we got 
the Empress here. And then we got the Six of Swords. Yes, most into here. Listen, you said, baby, I'm too fucking blessed and beautiful to be dealing with this bullshit. I know my worth. I know what I want. I know I'm a goddess. I'm beautiful. Very beautiful. You could be, I don't know, it's like very ripe right now. I don't know if your breasts are looking very voluptuous or something. Your hips or something have been filling out. Um, I don't know if your body is feeling right, like fertile or something like that. It's like, I'm really getting fertility here. Wow, I'm getting fertility. But I definitely feel like you guys are going back home. Um, You guys are leaving you guys are leaving because it's like, I'm too beautiful for this. I'm too fertile. I have too many things growing and too many blessed, abundant things going on in my life. I, I, I don't, I'm a goddess. I will leave. You know, I'm not going to stay where I'm not wanted. And I know where I'm not wanted. You know, I'm going to move on. And I'm going to continue in the sunshine. And I'm going to celebrate. And that's just that's that's just that on that. And this is like somebody to me that once you finally walk away from the situation, you're going to reduce like three pounds of stress and unnecessary bullshit off of your back that you didn't need to deal with. And you, you you're going to feel so beautiful. Like sometimes it's like when you step away from situations, you look in the mirror and you realize how beautiful you are. And then you start taking better care of yourself. And then you're like very thankful that you actually left. Because stress ages you. Stress ages you. It's like walking away from this shit. Because I'm too beautiful. Way too beautiful to be doing with this. I can't. So listen. Capricorn has been your reading. To. I'm serious. Someone got some beautiful ass titties. Like y'all. Your body is just filling out. I don't know if you're getting that little run away. And you're just like, yes, thickness. Yes, yes, thick thighs. Come on, thick thighs. Oh, girl, listen. For me, it's on the inside. But listen, I'm going to move on and move away. Or tell that motherfucker to move on and move away from you. Have it all. But it is what it is. You know? So y'all hit that like button. I love y'all. Continue loving yourself. And listen, people going to be who they going to be. The same way they was with you, they're going to be the same thing with that other person. So don't worry. <laughs> anyway, we out. Peace.